Hey guys, it's Infinite. Today we're playing some Domination on launch. And um, I gotta say guys, ever since I started playing 6 on 6 again, I've been having a lot more success with classes that aren't that great. Um, a lot of people like the Silent Scalia, but it doesn't really do it for me. I don't I don't think it's that great. Like, a lot of people like it because it's a good gun. For me, you strap anything on the FAMAS, including the silencer, it totally shits on this gun. So, I mean, that's just my opinion. But... I use this game nonetheless, and it's a pretty good gameplay here. It's a rather lengthy gameplay. I cut it down as much as I could, but there's just a lot going on here. I pretty much carry my team, and um, I don't know, guys. I've been enjoying Domination 6-on-6 six six more. Uh, I guess I played Modern Warfare 2, and I got a little impatient and couldn't stand waiting around anymore. But since I haven't played Modern Warfare 2 in so long, it doesn't feel too bad. And like I said in the past... I recommend you guys don't use Marathon when you're ru when you're rushing. When you use Marathon, well, if you have Marathon Pro, I'm telling you, you don't pick up as many people because you're always running, and when you're running, you usually don't focus on your surroundings. That's why I've been I've been running Tac Mask, pretty much Tac Mask and Ninja on mostly every class. So that's what I've been doing, and it's been working. And one thing you guys could guarantee for me now that I've been playing a little bit more Black Ops again, a I've been doing pretty well. And it does get a little bit boring, but the reason it's been getting boring is because I have no one to play it with. This guy noob tubed me, I think, three out of my five deaths, or maybe four out of my five deaths. It was really annoying. But, please guys, follow me on Twitter, and I, I literally tweet every time I want to play with someone. And even if I start playing alone, I'll probably tweet like a half hour later because I get bored playing alone. So please, you guys want to play with me, follow me on Twitter, and... I always tweet them, like, anyone wants to play Black Ops, uh, send my brother's gamer tag. that's when I play on a message, and I you never get any messages. So, there it is again, this guy was pissing me off, he didn't even see me there. So, yeah guys, just do that, and we could definitely hook up and play together. I like playing Domination with two people, because there's a lot of kills to go around, and usually you could win, because kids in Domination aren't that great. And I've been having a good time. Tell you the truth guys, my new favorite class... I just I was just using it earlier. I wasn't getting gameplay games with it, but I was going like consistent four to one. What is this scorpion? The scorpion with extended mags is really good. It's just obviously it's over. It's outclassed in every single way by every other gun. The thing where I beat everyone though is it's accurate as hell. So even though they have famases that shoot a lot faster, 74 U's that shoot a lot faster, the one thing it has up on everything else, it's more steady. And because of that fact, and because I'm good at using my um, head glitch spots and stuff like that, they couldn't pick me off, and it was fun. I just played Stadium with the Scorpion, started off like, I don't know, 5 and 7, and then just got hot and it was over. So yeah guys, I'm having a good time playing this game, and I want some people to play with, so please, just send me a message on iExtravagance, and we'll play together. But I had a topic I wanted to talk about today. This was kind of meant to be a pretty loose commentary. Uh, oh yeah. So last night, if you guys didn't, if you guys don't follow Thunder Toro or Fisticuffs or any of those guys, they're pretty big in the YouTube community. And I love Thunder. He's like one of my favorite commentaries. I watch all his videos. And Fist too. I mean, I don't watch a ton of his videos because he does put out a lot of crazy nonsense. But I do like a, I, I like what he has to say sometimes. And I was reading their Twitter. And they were tweeting about all this stuff that Modern Warfare 3 supposedly has. And um, Hutch later confirmed that it was just like a guy's wish list and none of it was true. And that's something I promised myself to do after Black Ops. I'm not even going to think Modern Warfare 3. If I said Modern Warfare 2 earlier, I apologize, I'm not sure. But I'm not even going to think Modern Warfare 3 until maybe two months before it comes out. Reason being is there's so much rumors, and people get all hyped up saying this is fair, that's not fair, this is bullshit, that's, you know, making all these opinions about rumors, and a lot of it doesn't even end up being right. Like, even, I remember when Black Ops came out, a lot of us, before we knew, weren't even sure if Ghost was, like, like similar to Ninja, and then, like, a lot of perks we had, because, like, a lot of times... Not a lot of times, I don't even know what I'm saying, sorry. But when Black Ops first came out, or when Black Ops first got news, um, 
we had the perk list, but we didn't know what the perks did. We didn't know the pro abilities. And there's just so much rumors going around. And a lot of people take guesses as facts sometimes. It's just not good sometimes. So what I like to do is leave everything aside. Um, I don't mind watching trailers. I don't mind watching official stuff that they give us and tell us about. But anything that's rumor, I just like to in one ear and out the other. I think you guys should do the same too. And here I get really, really lucky. I'm just like, bull rush, go. You'll see in a second. I, I was so I wasn't pissed because I expected to die. This was just a risk. Yeah, see that grenade coming at me? as run at this guy. But yeah, so surprisingly, I've been enjoying Black Ops, and I gotta say, I'm sure it's because I haven't played it in so long. And even though it's a rather boring game, it's still by far the least stressful Call of Duty in the grand scheme of things. It's not the most exciting. It's not the most satisfying. So there you go. That was my, what was my, I think that was my third death. So two from noob tubes where the guy didn't even see me and just shot blindly. And then the third was in the chopper gunner. This is potentially a flawless game if you put a lot of bullshit aside. Oh, there. Well, I could, I could include that as bullshit as well. This guy's sitting there. I mean, what are you doing? You have, you, your, your team doesn't have the B, doesn't have B, and you're sitting in A, not even going i mean i'm not saying capture a and flip the spawns that'd be stupid but i don't get what some people are doing there why even think about spawn trapping when your team doesn't even have b that's just that's how people play and it's rather annoying so um in terms of the balance between gta let's play and me playing call of duty i i've tried to be organized in the past and say i'm gonna do certain things but to tell you the truth I have some days where I'll just knock out like five episodes of GTA Let's Play and like three commentaries, and that's an exaggeration, but... And then I have days where I don't feel like doing anything, and that could last for a few weeks. Not a few weeks, a few days. Up to a week. So, it really varies. I mean, there's going to be times where I'm going to be pumping out content ridiculously, and there's going to be times where it's kind of slow. So, I don't know, guys. I'm going to try to give you a healthy dose of each. I'm not going to... I'm gonna. I'm never gonna spam more than two videos a day. Even with the let's plays, I mean, what I, I'll, I'll me myself will knock out like all the work that you have to that has to be done for them, and I'll do that. Say I do five videos in one day, and that's not even an exaggeration. Like get them all into iMovie, sync up the voice and all that. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spam you guys with like three episodes all uploading back to back to back overnight. Even though that'd be easier for me, you guys won't be able to watch them, and you might even miss them. So, and, and a lot of people, not a lot, but a few few of my subs are pumped for the, the Vice City Let's Play, and I'm happy for them. I mean, I'm really happy. At least some people are appreciative of a Let's Play I'm going to attempt to do. So, I'm excited for that, and I'm going to play this one through, guys. Even if there's pauses, I'm going to play this one through. So, don't worry about that. And the yeah, outlook's pretty good, you know? I mean, I'm playing Black Ops, which a lot of you guys are happy about. I'm doing a GTA Let's Play, and a lot of people have been enjoying San Andreas with only Use Me Blade, so this is something a little different. My, in my opinion, the best GTA ever made. I mean, actually, I should, I really shouldn't say in my opinion because I haven't played the game enough to make that opinion. But in everyone else's opinion, it's the best one. Like all my friends, family, everyone who's played it says it's the best one, and it's not even close. This is how most people like to say it. GTA 3 was like, like you get the most nostalgia to play in it because it's so, it's a classic. Vice City was the best. And San Andreas you could do the most in. And San Andreas is pretty damn good too. I mean that's the best game to fool around in. So each of them have their strong points. But in terms of just single player itself, I've heard San Andreas, or Vice City is the best. And then you got 4 which just straight up for me was a letdown anyway. So pretty much it guys we're coming to a close here and um yeah i can ask you guys for this give me some commentary topics anything you guys want to hear me talk about i'm a little rusty haven't really done them too much and this commentary and the one before this that i put up like two days ago was kind of everywhere as well so let me know guys and we got the final score five fifty and five and i was pretty much a team player here four caps two defends and i was the reason we won they pretty much rallied on me all right guys i'll talk to you next time see you